it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today is Craftsmas Season 3, Episode 13, and we have a fun one. We're going to take this pumpkin rug that I bought at Hobby Lobby in their fall section. It was originally $19.99. I ended up paying because you can save 40%, like 12 bucks for it. So nothing major. So I'm going to show you how to personalize this because this sucker's absolutely adorable, but it needs something extra. So the file that we're using today is available on my Patreon page, $4 or more. And I did, because it has a last name in it, I did list the fonts that I used so you can change the name. Now, remember before we jump over that this week's uh, weekly wow sale is 25% off all of our Thermoflex Plus. So that is a great deal and that sale ends on October the 25th, 2020. Now give me a moment to change the camera angle and we'll go over how to decorate this rug. Okay, so as you can see, I have part of my vinyl already cut, weeded, and laid out on my design right here because I wanted to make it go a little bit faster. So I have the Gocher and family already on there. And I'm going to take and remove now the paper backing off of the. I love how this looks so far. I think this is going to turn out so cute. And it's. <laughs> Working with this isn't always the easiest thing in the world, but it really isn't super difficult either. So now I'm just gonna kind of squeegee this down as well as I can. I mean, nothing sticks to this backing because this is like a very rough material. Nothing sticks to it super well. But that's part of the reason why making these stencils is a little bit easier. And I like to use my Oracal for it, but you can use stencil material. You can make it with whatever you want to. So now I've got that all stuck down. Looks good. I'm using the Masters Touch Acrylic Paint in Raw Umber. I thought that that would look better on this than just using black. So now I'm just taking a sponge and applying it over the letters. So yeah, I just picked up the center of that E, but that's okay because I've got the paint everywhere else I need besides there. So I'm using a generous amount of paint, as you can see, because that is important when you're doing this to make sure there's enough down. There we go. So I'm going to apply some more. And again, just lightly stamping over the edges. Kind of holding down your stencil as you go. And see again, we just place that back down. It's not a big deal. Just gonna make sure we do gentle over the edges like that. Here we go. looks good so i'm gonna go off camera finish stamping the rest of this but and then we'll show you the finished product look how absolutely adorable this came out now i know my e looks a little rough but i can go back in with some orange paint touch up the center of it but other than that i love how this looks now remember if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below and if you hit the notification bell icon that will notify you when i post new videos which is with christmas it's every single monday through friday but i guess that's it so we'll see y'all on monday bye